So, um, what is it? 12, 16, 18, 16. Um, are you, I sent out, are you guys good with the annual report? Yes. Or did you want to look it over? And I get it, Nora's gonna. So I'll submit that. Okay. Um, yep. I mean, we, we did the camp did amazing, which is great. Um, we definitely need to start spending, um, you know, spending um, some money on some bigger things. I think, for sure. Just trying to see if there's anything I need to mention. Um, all right, so the annual Actually, report. Glenn, Glenn um, I know this doesn't necessarily need to be on, but. <laughs> Gwen, my daughter Gwen's going to send my granddaughter to the camp this year. Pretty oh sure. yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure she. Yeah, I told her I thought it was the best deal around. You know, she'll love it. I do have. I know I mentioned speaking that the software. We're having some complications in. We need to get a new payment processor set up, and so I reached out to them, and the answer I got was. I have to discuss with my internal team as to the next steps or something. And I was like, okay. So I think what we may end up having to do is open registrations and the initial round is going to have to be mail in a check for the deposit because we can't take payments online at the moment. We can't do it anything with Square. I'm going to call, gonna call them. It's but the problem is it's tied to this system that actually is the registrations. So it has to integrate like that. You know, you make your account and plug in your kids, you pick your days a week, all that. I would, I mentioned, I'd like to switch to a new system, but it's a huge project and it just, we didn't, I didn't do it early enough. Um, and all our data is in REC1, all of our history. So we did our uh, payments last year? We took everything through REC1. The good news is this new processor that I'm going to switch to is going to get us a terminal at the beach. So we'll be able to take contactless payments like um, Apple Pay, which I think might help us get less cash, which would be nice. Yeah. But it just... It'll be done by the summer. I just, there might be a backlog here. I'm going to call them next week and basically like, this is crazy. This is not, this isn't like some fly by night company. But anyway, because um, I know people are asking for registrations and I'll often put theirs up pretty early. Walked away. Oh, let's get a drink. Okay. Um, in terms of field use, it's all the normal requests, um, softball, baseball, soccer, baseball and soccer. Again, a split clough a couple days a week. Um, I'm just going to double check that we've got all the money up to date. I think are they going to meet with us? So I do. We should if we can find a, a nighttime meeting date, I think it would be good to get representatives from each board, specifically, specifically baseball and softball, just to kind of check in. Yeah, see, if they're looking to get some kind of return on investment too. Yeah, well, I think I think we really need to talk about capital improvement to make sure we're all on the same page. I was very frustrated with how the whole field use played out because I think, I think there's just this understanding that they have access to the fields and, you know, from our perspective, we just need a schedule. Um, you know, I, I, maybe I mentioned this, the final straw was, you know, somebody complained to John about the fields not being mowed and the response is there's no permit. They, nobody ever requested any fall use. So why would we mow? Um, and I, I think hopefully we can rebuild that. I am going to tell them all, if anybody has outstanding fees, we're not issuing any permits until everything's paid in full. Can we put any signage at the field? Maybe, honestly, I think for our money with it, the best thing is to try and monitor it more and keep track of who's out there. Um, who's going to do that? Well, I guess just as we, you know, especially in the, in the summer and the, the, the spring is okay. It's the off season stuff where there's just like a random, you know, one team for a tournament. Um, I mean, it's not necessarily terrible. I just think the relationships maybe have fallen by the wayside and, you know, we come, we talk about all these projects and then we never hear another word about it. And then it's a new board and mm -hmm. all that. But I think, um, yeah, so I don't know. We can think about if there's a time we could meet at night, maybe sometime. I believe opening day is going to be April 20th, by the way. Okay. Um, just trying to see what else is on the agenda for that. 
Um, oh, there was an email about the Dagaval pit. I know. Yeah, what are we meeting? So, well, there's, so there's two. There's the, the, the girl who's doing the Eagle Project at the beach. You apply to that so we can meet with her and figure out her project. And then Connor wanted us to just confirm we're looking for two pits, a normal size one and a smaller one. And then he was asking how much we could fund. The estimate he's coming up with is 1200 um, and then we're thinking the location is on top of the volleyball court mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Um, my suggestion would be let's have him go out and put stakes in the ground. Yeah. Um, but then I don't know if it, it, you know, what, what's an amount that'd be reasonable. I mean, I think at least 300 is like the minimum we've provided for other things. Maybe a little more again, since it's fairly a wreck thing and we've got the money. Okay. So, you know, I, I mean, maybe we shouldn't fund it all, but. I'm happy you're supporting it. Just yeah. so obviously find out what they can get for donations, and then we'll uh, have to discuss funding the rest of it. For now, so if he's twelve hundred, should we say for now we we could commit up to six? But why don't you see what you can get? See, or more? See, what, see what you get for donations, and let us know what companies are donating, and then we will uh, consider uh, assisting with the rest of the funding. So, all right. And rather than give them a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think ideally this he could do this in the spring. Um, speaking of that, there's two other projects I think I'd like to just have us do and pay for. Um, we need to fix the roof on the Tatro concession stand or mm -hmm. shed in the back. I did ask Sean to take a look at it. I don't know if he did because by the time I it was winter and buried in snow. Yeah. Um, and then building a shed need to get a price on for it. the rec program. I think that one, if, if he's willing to do it, it's just replacing shingles. Okay. That might be, you know, he seems to be interested in those kind of odd jobs. Um, and then I just wanted to the price. There was somebody online advertising shed building. So I sent him a message. He can build us a shed for the camp. It would be a, um, 10 by 12 shed with eight foot walls with no windows. His price was 6,300, give or take. Um, it is kind of a lot. I have a guy at prefab. Oh, I, the Home thing, Depot. we don't have anybody to build. Home Depot. We could do that, but I I think I'm I kind of looking for something, are they? Yeah. Will they deliver it, Depot or assemble it or we have to build it? No, they'll build it right on the property. Yeah, really? wherever we want to put it on blocks. Yeah. That's another thing we can, we can talk to Sean about. Yeah, I mean, we can get to, we can get some prices on it. I just wasn't sure. So you think that's way high? Yes. Okay. I think if we can do that um, for the spring, I think that would help. We got to clear out some room in the classroom. Um, all right. And then in terms of, I think we do the hiring last. In terms of programming. I think my recommendation is just to leave everything the same in terms of pricing. Um, I mean, so school lessons was 80 and 95. We did well. Assuming the staffing works out, I think we would just do the same thing. These three sessions, um, that program seems to have, you know, it's not perfect, but it's it's definitely come back up. I think we made a couple thousand dollars. Oh, good. Um, did I close it? I forget what I put in the annual report. Yeah, we. We profited twenty nine hundred dollars, um, so that's good. That's great, yeah. And then same with the camp. Our pricing, I, I think I just leave it all alone. Upton is so we're two seventy five a week and sixty a day. Upton is like two forty five a week, but then sixty a day, and then they have incremental pricing. We just did a five percent sibling discount. Um, but I think um, I would just leave it all alone. The only change we were thinking of making is the age was five to 14 because we have the junior counselors who are now 14. We were thinking make it five to 13. We almost never get 14 year olds. Um, and why, why change it then? So we don't get them. I think the concern was if you had a 14 year old being supervised by a 14 year old. But the J now that I think of it, the JCs are deliberately not in group three for that reason. There you go. So maybe it's not, maybe it's a non-issue right. and leave it alone. Um, 
I think that's everything on that, unless you guys had any other thoughts. I mean, we get a lock in the dates. I think we're looking for the camp Hollis. So now with the snow days, I think Menden and Hollis and everybody's got school through the 17th. So I think we need, we want to wait and start on the 24th. And that way we have that week to do orientation and get everything ready. Okay. Um, but so that's that. And then I emailed out all of the staffing. So I don't know, maybe we just want to go through. So maintenance, maintenance we talked about already. I just recapped it. So the Brian and Cage, and then the three new kids, Sam, John, or Jonathan and Gavin. Um, we did have one other applicant, but I think, I mean, I think we were good with who we had. And, yeah. um, and that gets us four, four per day each the three new guys would do um alternating like three and four days a week mm -hmm. and then you get vacations and everything else yeah so. well and i i think it's realistic to expect that brian might be gone in august if he gets an offer right um and then i don't know i will make sure that if we go to fincom and I let them know that like we've got to deal with this um because now next year i'm sure brian won't be back um, right. Because I, I do think it's probably worth getting pricing to outsource again, but I don't think it's going to be useful. I think it's useful to let them know how much they've saved. Yeah. Right. That's what we're doing at a third of the cost of what would it would cost to outsource it, just to have those numbers available. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt to like do a little well, uh, ad here and there and just to find out like just for this property alone. I'm sure, like, just for a few properties, it costs what it costs us to run up the entire year for that crew. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to just try it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I just that one conversation I had with, um, I think it was Matt Bartlett, was he's basically like, listen, you know, in order to do this, we would have to hire an employee to take on the Menden accounts. Yeah. So it's you hire them, I hire them, it's the same money. Except now they have to mark it up to pay all their overhead. Right. So it, it's way too big, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's worth getting some pricing just so. Well, maybe we should put it out and just see. I mean, I kind of feel yeah. bad asking we, for pricing. We can do this and get, a, get someone like full time. Yeah. Or we can do this and that was worth it because what we're doing right now, we're stitching it together every year. Right? And just let, let them know what the savings is. Let's write this down because that's a good way of phrasing it. Yeah. And then they were saying, hopefully we will have access to this. Assuming this project gets approved, we could have the old senior center building. The problem is we're looking at 2026. Mm -hmm. um, as long as there's a plan, I mean, I'm fine with that. Like it's, you know, I had a couple conversations with John in passing. I think I think it would work. And then, you know, there's potential programming options at that building, too. I just don't know exactly what John needs. But the upstairs room or which one? And that, yeah, so I think. At least in my mind, I think you turn the garage into a drive in workshop in the basement, mm -hmm. and then upstairs, you leave that main room alone. You got the one office there, and then that upper level, you could partition that off into a couple offices. I think John's looking for at least an office for him, yeah. and possibly like so they can move the offices out of highway and reclaim that space for highway. Um, when you say programming, like running classes? Well, I'm, yeah, or like before and after school. Or vacation week, we don't do any school vacation week stuff because we don't really have a home for it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had an interesting. Oh, we've talked about that too. Interesting conversation. Is it big enough for that that room? It it would. You could only do like it would be like twenty or thirty kids, yes. not like what we're doing for the camp. But like Phil Sepley mentioned to me, you know, oh, well, you could do this in the new community center, and it's like, well, you're not going to want thirty kids running around screaming in your senior center, right? But. Um, but if you could do that, I think the revenue would pay for, I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's gotten better. I think the before and after school program is a wait list. Right. Yeah, so, no, I, I'm all for it. As long as the space yeah. is big enough and we can do it, um, uh, I think it's great. You know, and plus, pro, we kind of gave up on programming, like all those fitness classes. That could be something to no, say, no. you know, we have space and, you know, we'll do a profit share and you just pay us a percentage and teach or whatever class in our space. Right. Um, I mean, that Zuma program was very successful when we did it. So, all right, so that's that. And then, so for recreation, um, 
I don't know if we just want to go through all this. Um, Alan is asking if we would allow both of his kids to attend for three days a week, which I realize is kind of a lot, but I personally, I think it's worth, he's worth every penny. I have no problem with that. I mean, he's a director. The, um, and I think were that request to come up from other employees, uh, you know, I think we probably would need to extend it to everybody, but no one else is in that right. situation. Um, but I think it'd be pretty rare if people work. So we've been pretty fortunate. I mean, that the two of them have run this program. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, too, just to support, I agree. I, I think it's a good idea, though, or I agree with letting the, his kids come in. It's so different for me to look at the salaries now compared to a couple of years ago because it almost looks like he's not making a lot of money and you may feel the same way about yourself dan but the reason i say that is because for us to entice somebody to come in even at kind of a lower level they're making 17 bucks an hour as we're paying high school kids 16 bucks an hour because people are getting mm -hmm. so much more money now um yeah so anyways that's my my rationale to say yeah i agree that we should let his kids come that's interesting. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, just through oh, the minimum wage increases. Uh, absolutely. I mean, what what people are offering now because it's the situation still bad is really tough, and it doesn't mean they'll stick around. I know it's seasonal summer thing, but when you got somebody like Alan and Jack who are just so dedicated, man, it's worth every penny. And I yeah. and you know me, I was a little. I've always been a little bit reluctant to continuously give these guys good. But uh, I've learned my lesson. You got to do what you got to do to keep these the good ones coming back. And so, anyways, that much easier too. Yeah. Do you think so? In terms, like especially in terms of the top, I wasn't sure. Like, so we would have Alan at twenty six seventy five. I have Jen at twenty two. I don't know if we want to, you know, bump her up a little more. At one point, there was some talk. They both of, get raises this year, right? Yeah, they both went up. I gave her a bit more. So she went from 2075 to 22. Al went up just the 75 cents. Mm -hmm. um, but we're allowing his other kid to attend as well. Right. Um, I think, yeah, that, you know, yeah, Alan, that, Alan's like yeah, the face of Jen does a ton of the behind the scenes. But they're like, they did all these interviews and they we technically haven't even hired them yet. Right. So that's a huge commitment. Um, there was some talk of maybe trying to restructure and have like multiple assistant directors and kind of divide up, but I don't think that's quite come to fruition. Maybe so. Some of these candidates we have are, are like this Sam C is an education major, so perhaps she'll stick around in the summer. Okay. Um, I mean, that would be ideal because that's kind of yeah, what's happening um, to them now. I say if they come with another uh, proposal and they want to restructure yeah. based on the purpose, yeah, we can. That's fine. I think they, uh, well, they have a right you, to do that. When you when you list the uh, when you list the employee with a uh, parenthesis, a number parenthesis after the name, is that the amount of years they've worked for us? Yes, including this current year if we hire them. So this would be Alan's fourteenth year, which yeah. is insane. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, that dedication is incredible these days. I'm sure it works out great for him too, but um, yeah, I, I also wondered, um, and maybe I'm just just because I'm seeing numbers. I don't know these kids, but we have our rec program managers making 16 bucks an hour. Do you, do you think that's a good amount, or is that that seems that seems entry level for most places these days? But but is that where we want to? You know, are they future? I, I don't know. It, it just I'm, yeah. Again, well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the numbers we're looking at. We're hiring high school kids at 17 bucks, just as we can't get them. So we were hiring, like for the background, we were hiring entry level rec staff at 15, shack at 15, which is minimum wage. The lifeguards we were doing 16 to try and entice them. Uh, maintenance, I think we were starting them at at 15, and then we were kind of doing 25 cents a year. The junior positions we were going to pay 13 and i know jen i think would jen o'neill would advocate to pay 15. um i do i i do think perhaps the amount for that that so-called rec manager position is kind of low maybe we should bump those up a little further especially in light of what you know just said looking at the world as a whole um yeah. I, I mean i i would agree with that and if it again if it keeps these people around I don't know what you think is more a fair offer. 
Well, I would, so I would I defer to you. Why don't we ask Alan about that? Because he's, he's got his finger on the pulse there. If he feels the structure that we have is fine, or does he yeah. feel like we should give them more? Like, I mean, obviously we have to stay within our budget, but um, yeah, I mean, we, but I would, I would ask, I would defer to him. I mean, if, you, if there's, um, you know, they run such a good program. I think people want to work for us and that parks and rec pro, you know, the, the, the uh, kids and us program. So that, that it's fine and demand issue. Like if more kids want to work for it and we have positions and we can keep the pricing as is for our salaries. As yeah. is. If we are running at, into a shortage like lifeguards, for instance, that's when we'd have to raise it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think also, we I definitely, think especially with the rec program, we have built a reputation uh, we have a I, I won't we got multiple candidates that came here from another town's program that were looking to move and I think we have a reputation as being very organized. Right. And I, I think a big part of that is our we have management staff versus just a bunch of kids. Correct. Um so I, I think AJ it, it depends on like we have a really good program. People want to work for us. If we were struggling to get workers, I'd say bump them up. But since we're not, I would say defer to Alan and maybe keep the structure we have. Um, on the other hand, we have lifeguards, which we're struggling to get, and maybe they have to go up. You know, it's uh, supply and demand, I guess. I mean, I you know, I'd be, I mean, maybe it's worth like maybe we should put these like these management people pay the rec manager seventeen, maybe the senior counselor should get sixteen, and provide a, a clear yeah. bump instead of just twenty five cents. Right, that I, at I least agree. might be. That's that's an incentive too to stay, you know. If you know yep. you're going to get a dollar an hour raise next year, they'll they'll come yep. back. And then I don't know if we think, you know, do we could we pay Jen maybe a little more instead of twenty two? Like, I mean, I twenty two it, fifty. It's crazy because I I only make twenty three seventy nine. And granted, they only work ten weeks, yep. um, and hopefully that's something that will be discussed very soon in negotiations about reclassifying and restructuring some things on the town level, but. Um, I would, you know, could we pay her 23? Or is that? If, it, if it's in the budget, I'm fine because they both do you outstanding know, work. I think budget wise, we are in great shape. We are, uh, maybe this isn't the best way to phrase it, but we are bringing in more money than, I mean, like, we, we, we have a surplus that we should be looking to spend. Yeah. So whether that's on staff or investing back into facilities, um, I think we should. Well, let me, let me make a comment. That. You know, I, I remember back in the day, I'm not sure if you were on board yet. Um, but you've always been, Dan, you've always been a strong supporter of Alan. And I think at the time when he came in, we were, we weren't doing well at all. And, no. you know, due to his leadership, that pro program, I remember when I started in the parks, we were bringing in a ton of kids and then it just bottomed out. You know, we, we were almost had to cancel it. I remember it got so bad. And Alan's been a major factor in this so even just to acknowledge you know that somehow we can do that for him he, he you were like i said a big supporter of alan and really to do what we needed to do to get him to come back yep. and him and coming back every give, year is why the program's grown so much i think we should give him a dollar an hour raise not a, not 75 cents okay i think I mean, it's kind of at that right. level it's gonna be at least a dollar so we pay him so he would be at 27 and then jen is 23 20, yeah, 21, 22. She gets, she would go up to 25. And I think we did bump her up a little more last year too. Like I said, she's really taken on all the behind the scenes. She does all the scheduling. They've, they've made a really good team that they each kind of have strengths. Mm -hmm. um, and that that's worked out really, really well. What, um, how old is she now? Like 25? Yeah. She's teaching, she got a, she's teaching at MISCO. She got a job. Great. And then she coaches volleyball somewhere in Medway, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, we saw her actually. We saw her coach oh, in Medway. Yeah, Danielle's so, um, got. Uh, we have a niece that plays uh, for Medway, or two nieces, and she was the coach. So yeah, I mean, I I think, um, and then so then the rec managers we we bump up to seventeen, the senior counselors we pay sixteen, and then I don't know, you know, the staff leave at fifteen or, and the JCs. I mean, I I don't know. I I feel both ways about the thirteen dollars. On the one hand, with sub minimum wage, but on the other hand, in an, I mean, we're hiring potentially if 11 can, if kids. They, kids. If kids want to do it, 
We have thirteen dollars an hour. No shortage of applicants. Then, then leave it. Leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I agree. This, I agree. And they'll they'll be, they'll get in the program. They get bumped up by the time they become regular counselors. Um, they're hitting the ground running. So. Yeah, that, I mean, we ended up hiring. I forget the exact number. I think of all of them, so two, a lot of these two guys, didn't come back. The rest it's came their back. First job. It's the first time they made money, and thirteen dollars an hour for a kid that's never made money before, yeah. other than their allowance, is pretty good money. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think we had a single interview that we walked away saying, "Don't hire this person." And this is always terrible because it's just who you know who is the best candidate or the you know, the least good. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's a shame. I wish we could hire all of them. Um, and we're, I, I think, I actually think we're over hiring as it is with potentially 20, 26 counselors, um, but we couldn't cut anymore. Um, and then I think I explained so that, let me skip the snack shack stuff. So the deal with the lifeguards, um, which ties into this other discussion. So there's three applicants, two of whom were for the camp that I would like to offer the lifeguard position. The problem is they don't have the full certification. Um, I did a little bit of research. I was hoping there was some like makeup class, but it, that's like a specialty thing that like you contract this company to do these things. Right. Um, so I think we're going to need to offer some sort of reimbursement for the training um, to ensure that we're getting candidates. I mean, we're potentially completely hosed. We had two two rec that are going to come back as lifeguard and split. Then we had four other lifeguards coming back, but of them, one of them has a second job and had a tricky schedule. The other one said she's going to be doing EMT stuff. And I mentioned before, like lessons, these three all have experience teaching swim lessons, which is huge. Um, the problem is the training is like 400 bucks. So I don't know if we would say like it's two years. So like at the end of each year, we reimburse you 200 bucks. So you work, you know, you, you get certified, you work a year for us. You get half your certification paid off. You come back next year for the second year of your certificate, and you get it paid off completely. And yeah, that way, like that. You know, that way they're not getting certified and ditching us. Right. I'll have to work with Jen to see if we need to have some form. It has to be a two-year commitment, basically. Yeah. Well, or it's half. They get half, and they don't come back. Because I think there's a couple returning people that it might be worth their. I mean, I guess if we do it, we have to do it for everybody. Um. We have, I, like, I like that idea. They get half of it. We pay half, and then they come back the next year. We pay the other half. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I mean, I think yeah, and I, I, I'm thinking right now it would be up to 400 in total. That's the numbers I'm seeing out there. Yep. Um, it'd be interesting if we could do our own training. It's a pain. It's we so we can't run Red Cross anything at the beach because we're not a licensed facility, and that's like thousands of dollars. There are some third party things, but I, from what I'm reading, they're very expensive. Um, maybe if we had enough, we could like sponsor a class and say, here's the class, go sign up for it. Um, and maybe if we have enough, we can talk to Witten and see like, you know, I'm going to send you three or four people. Could you put a class on your schedule and make it work for a while? Right. I, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's where that is for lifeguards. Um, and then I should mention, though, I listed some alternates, so that way we've got them pre-approved. So if people decline, or if in this case of these these two, I think if they decline the lifeguard job, we really want them for the camp. Um, and then I don't know if you think these are fair pay rates for the lifeguards. Um, I, I do think some other towns are paying a little more. Maybe we should up our lifeguard rate. I mean, that one's a little tricky, but if that's what it costs, that's what it costs. We were starting at 16. Or is that in, um, certification enough of incentive? I think the certification should be enough. I don't know. But if you, again, supply and demand. Yeah. If, uh, if we're getting plenty of applicants, we're not. We got no applicants. And I would say let's boost it up. We got zero applicants plus, plus these three plus the, potentials. Plus the payment of their, uh, their certification. I mean, could we just could we just go up a dollar? So the returning would be seventeen something, twenty five yeah. or fifty, and then the new would be at seventeen. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
I'm just looking at to make sure we don't impact any. I just don't know if that's hopefully not insulting in terms of the senior counselor positions. And then um, finally is the snack shack. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I think probably will not do the junior shack thing again because I don't think we need it. And I think with the junior rec, I think we're going to limit it to only previous attendees of our program. We got a ton of great, just so many candidates that we felt like we had to interview them, but we don't need them. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know any of these kids, probably not. The Jacob Viata, Cameron Viata, Brandon Wood, they were BVT, Chloe Burke. Um, I've been out of there for a while. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, they probably are. Um, but I'm thinking we just want one. One full time person in the shack. And, and then if we hire these junior things, I don't know what they're going to be doing. If, I, you, if you hire them, I'd say do send them come one day a week. That's well, that's the that's thing. They work they, one or two days a week. Learn how to do the job. I wouldn't bring them in every day. I just don't even know how much cooking they really get to do. Right. But if we're OK with that, and I honestly, I was thinking maybe some of their job is going to be, you know, you come in, go clean the bathrooms. Then maybe go work in the shack to cover a period and then perhaps go up in the park and pick up trash. Like that might be more of the work we need. Sure. Break the beach, whatever. Yeah. Um, I just don't know. You know, we guys, I, what did I say in here? We could theoretically offer all four of these a spot, but they'd be working potentially only four and a half, five hours a week total. Like you said, maybe is that enough for a kid to have some very entry level experience? I mean, what else? You know, it's, well, it's, it's really a training program, right? So yeah. they would become a, a full fledged um, snack check operator in the future. Yeah, well, you know, you had people down the pipelines, I and mean, we, so we had a weird crunch where we had nobody. Now we have a whole bunch of them. I think. Well, they must they must be talking to each other. Looks like, and you know, the other thing that yeah. comes to mind if They're you look all... at it. I mean, you got maybe one, two, three, four, five kids that might be back again if, they, if this is their second year or their first, whatever it might be. I think the one means that they've been here a year, right? Yes. So you got a lot of this is, this possible is returnees. Um, so, you know, my point is you could train somebody, but they may not have a chance to work next year. I mean, how much, and how much training does it take? And I, I would imagine they can pick it up because they can, you know, learn during the slow times, too. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have a couple of people. I mean, I think, you know, Mia, I think, is just in the workforce. So I think it's probably just a simple summer job. But, you know, she picks up shifts. So that works. I don't know. Maddie said it maybe. Uh, Killian and Ashlyn, Ashling are younger. Kaya, Lily, and Kayla probably have made this might be their second to last year. And then they'll probably go off to college. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, and then in terms of, I mean, I think probably as much as I would want a little more diversity, I think. Haley was probably the better candidate of the two um, if we had to pick one of them. And then we could hire all four of those junior shack, but they're only going to, like I said, they, you know, they're just probably going to work one day a week and maybe the very occasional when there's a concert, they could be the third person. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's almost like a, unless, unless you go with like that busy lunchtime hour, you really only need one person in that shack. Yeah. Right? Well, that's the problem. And it, part of it's like, you know, I could do this but I'm not, you know, a 16 year old kid anymore. Right. So it's a different job. It's, you know, like at nighttime, it's a ghost town. It's 630. Right. Um, our, we're, we seem to be busier earlier. Um, yeah. uh, that, that sounds saying like, you know, so what, what are the busiest times in that shack? And that's what you want. That's where you'd want that junior. That's a, yeah. Like right? 11 to three. I think I don't right. Put that in there. And then um, could they do other things? Yeah, it could happen. Do other things around, you know, trim the grass. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's things. there's like weird. It's the project stuff, like you know, go pick up trash, go cut back this brush. That's the stuff that's fallen by the wayside. So if they don't mind doing some of that, a little more manual labor stuff. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I should mention, you know, Victoria wasn't able to come back because she had to take summer classes. So we're back with no beach director. That'll be another thing to okay. figure out, but. At least it was. She was just getting the hang of it. Too. Too bad. Yeah. Um, Should we like look at maybe getting two trained to do that job? Two people like sort of training them to. Maybe I. The, I mean, I had thought one of the lifeguards 
I could potentially offer that to as a maybe just to take on like just the scheduling. Um, and unfortunately, she was one of the ones that said she wasn't coming back. It's hard to have somebody with enough consistency. There is somebody here, one of the returning employees that I think has a lot of potential. Okay. Um, that maybe I could talk to her about um, Lauren Scott yeah. and what her ambitions are. I mean, Astrid too, who's, who has more experience, um, or even honestly, even not Maddie or the, from the camp. Yeah, Lauren's been so, with us, uh, since 23, right? So. Yeah, Lauren, we hired last year. She's very, was very, very ambitious. Um, And then um, Astrid is like going to pre-med school or something, but I think, you know, we probably don't have much time left with her and then yeah. she'll be off in the real world. This is another one where we need to find a, um, oh, an educator. Is that the one? Max, he's, I, again, I don't, I don't know his background. It's. But he's been with us since 22. But it'd be interesting to see what the, what these new kids do with the swim lessons that have some real professional swim lesson experience that might change like how much work needs to happen. Um, you know, and then maybe we need to have some conversations like with Tara that they hired part, not part-time, but she's 30 hours a week for the library's the library director. Maybe there's options to share staff or something. Okay. Um, by the way, I don't know if you, if you remember, so Kathy LaFlash, apparently she passed away. Oh, really? She was our, she beach directed for us one year. She was a teacher. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I think my father sent me the, I, I think she, i sick, I think. My father sent me something oh. the other week. I was just thinking, she because I think she old. came and worked for us one summer. No. Yeah, she wasn't very old. I, mean, I um, think she was kind of retiree yeah. age, but probably her fit, late yeah, 50s. She retired. I want to say she was like late 60s, maybe. Oh, was she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I was given Jean. She's a very nice lady. You guys heard about uh, Kim, right? Kim, uh, well, Kim Lynch, but Katie did Kim that passed away. No, she I didn't know that. Uh, oh, you didn't know that, Dan? No, uh, well, she yeah, fell and hit her. She passed her away about a month ago, and her husband Mark Morton, I guess, is doing really, really poorly, taking it really, really hard. That's terrible. And then I know. And then yeah, David, she was in my class. And then David Lowell, too. Yeah. yeah. So that was some, they, they let people like tell stories at the funeral. And it was, I mean, it was like two hours long, but it was unbelievable yeah. to hear some of the, like, just, you know. Anyway. Well, I forget, yeah, you know, when we, the, the Menden was, Menden was so small when we were growing up, the majority of people, I completely forgot till somebody told me the other day, my parents were the same was David was their insurance guy. Yeah, you know, yeah. he had the insurance company in Menden. And so I, the, everybody had him. Too. I remember him being re really helpful to my parents. Yeah. I remember, I remember my parents uh, couldn't get insurance on in their Cape house. Right. Because uh, right. of water. Um, but, and he got it. He got it for them. We have a meeting, but oh, the building wow. is closed. There's no, they're only here Monday to Thursday. Are you looking to pay or? I, what did you say? Taxes or? No, I'm looking for, I need bucks for trash because I want to use the trash for town. Oh, yeah, he's, they'll be back on Monday in that red building next door, the stickers. The building? Yeah, it? he's not here today. Okay, I want to go to another building or no? Yeah, no, on Monday. On Monday. Okay. Yeah, for the, the Board of Health is what you'd be looking for. Board of Health? Yeah. Not just building. Right, it's, it's so that. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. We're just, the, uh. That that uh, the red so they building, keep like the red forest, you know, or the right outside, going to keep them going. Building? Yeah, you Monday know, on Monday. Don't take your board health. Board health. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. No. No worries. Okay. Wish we had to. So sorry. What? I don't know. So it's back about Katie did. Yeah. Um. So I think that's it. If we're good with all these, and then we had to. We want to look at a date. At night to get the sports oh. teams in. What, yeah, do we want to take a vote on all these though? Sure. Yeah, I'll, then... I'll, I'll motion, make a motion to accept the uh, employees that have as been recommended. I'll... At the salaries. At the salary. Amended, discussed, yeah. amended, amended. And pending background yeah. checks. Yep. 
because I think that would be great if we can lock all these in. I, I will second. Anyway, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, yeah, and then, we also need to vote to let uh, Alan restructure if necessary. I think, well, I think at that point we'd probably come back and talk. I don't think that's a this year thing. You know, okay. That's more one of those pipe dream, like, hey, we were, so Tim Reed last year too, he's an education major, so we were hoping he might um, stick around and do summers, but then I think he had some other opportunities. Okay. Um, yeah, and then in terms of a night, unfortunately, my March is a disaster. Um, yeah, mine's still a quick. I could, uh, are Mondays an option? The 11th or the 18th? Yeah, I think so. I, no, I can't meet at night on Mondays. Okay. Um, I can meet like late afternoon. I can meet during the day, but it's worth yeah. it. Yeah, it sounds meet. like they can only do at least. So every Monday night I teach a class. On Tuesdays, they're not great either. But yeah. after the 20, <laughs> after March, they're okay. I'm going to, no, Friday night's not good. If we push, I just have a bajillion gigs now. How about um, uh, Wednesday, March 20th? I and that might I generally can't do Wednesdays. That might be our only option. Let me just double check. That one popped up as free for me, which normally Wednesdays are very, very um, busy. That might be I might just have to tell them too bad. Um why don't we why don't we go with that? Because otherwise I'm it's all my fault. I can't, I'm uh I'm literally booked every day next week, the following week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the following week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, then the brothers, Wednesday, Thursday again. And if you can't do Mondays, the next date I theoretically have open is going to be Tuesday, April 23rd. <laughs> so maybe March 20th is a good one. Let me, pencil, pencil it in. Yeah, let me so let me reach out to the two of them and see uh, baseball and softball if that works for them. Um, and then I know I got to finalize the bid spec for the lighting. We are going to ask for funding, additional funding for the basketball and tennis court lights. Great. I think potentially parks might need to pay for the fixtures, which we kind of had planned to do anyway. Yeah. But maybe if CPA can pay for the poles. That's, um, that's with all the expenses. I need to get pricing, and I, I didn't want to – it would be easier just to put it all to bid yeah. and not have to get into more things. Totally agree. Um, we got our contract back from the state, so I think I'm just going to write it out and say we're putting it out to bid with the work not to start until after July 1, which because it, it can't. Right. Um, but okay. I think we got to do that. I'm trying to think of what else we need to deal with. I don't know. I guess let's go for that for now. That's okay. Um, oh, let me write that down. Uh, the, the only thing I was. Uh, are if we you need help with that, uh, it's back from me. Yeah, I'll send out. What? Sorry. Are we firm? Uh, kind of got our dates firmed up for the uh, grand reopening of the beach. Oh, yeah. Um, We're probably going to stop playing on, on that, right? That's the other thing I need to sit down and finalize our summer schedule. So I think um, probably, I mean, if we did it opening weekend or if we wanted to wait a little bit, I mean, I don't know. We probably can't do it. It probably would need to be like the 22nd, 23rd, 29th, 30th. There was something, was somebody away? I have this memory now of yes. having this conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm away um, during the opening weekend. Which is the 22nd? Um, yes. Is the, I mean, oh, I, I think I remember this now. So I don't think if we did the 15th, I think it would have to be just a ceremony and that's it. I don't think we'd have things in place to formally open the beach yet. That would be my yeah. only concern. If we just want to do like a thank you, have some cake and coffee and call it a day. Like, I'm not even sure I maybe we'll have lifeguards. We'll have a few maybe, or we could, is the 29th an option? I think we should do it on the 15th. Or just do our... Because now you're getting into July and people are going away. So that's, just, that's a July 4th week, right? So maybe maybe we just plan on... I have on my calendar already that we were planning yeah, on the 15th. Yeah, well, I thought that's what I had written down. So do like a ceremony. Right. 
see if I can get some lifeguards to stay there for a couple hours. Get like some pool, hopefully some something. weather, right? And just um, like I don't think we'll be able to open the sack, the snack shack, or we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. But just usually we rely on that week to get everything cleaned up and ready. Gotcha. Um, and then we still have. I'm trying to think everything's. If, if any of the snack shack employees are available to, you know, help get it ready before then, and can pay, yeah. pay him to get it prepped, right? It's just timing and getting in there to clean up and open everything up. And, right. and I think all that's left is signage. Even if you just had like a few items, you, you got to yeah. have like a whole thing, just maybe some um, some Italian ice and some burgers or something like that. Yeah. What are we thinking timing wise? Um, I have 11 a.m., but we can go yeah. later. That's what I have. What does that take work for you, AJ? The 15th? Yeah, I have it. I have it in my calendar. I um, all right. So, yep. So let's plan on that then. Ooh, six, six, fifteen, and then maybe say like eleven to, I don't know, five. If we just do that, and then we'll get to we'll tell all the people that have helped us out to save the day. And of course, Sean's uh, Unilock. Yeah. Um, let's. Anyone else that's given us some good pricing or donated something to it? Let me send him a text and just double check with him that. He's not going somewhere. I think I have the wrong. Yeah, we can let people like Ford go. Yeah. Let's try to get the maintenance crew in there beforehand, too. Yeah, well, that's where you to get it all cleaned up. Right. So I'm going to text Sean Clifton just to see confirm that he's available yeah we should we should send um, yeah so unilock select board um we can have alan all the yeah whatever but yeah the beach crew the um uh, and stuff and folks that kind of worked around it as well so beach was a mess for them, so yeah all right yeah that's good and, and then i could you know line up um oh a, a, you know, some, some some sound equipment or something like that or, yeah, we just, I mean, we just do what we normally with, with kind of DJ. I and mean, we have that, we have a PA system, set that up and play some music. And then um, I think I mentioned this to somebody. I do, I think I want to buy a, um, I think we should buy an inflatable screen and projector instead of renting them. And then that would free us up to do more events. Sure. Because I think that movie night is successful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're not that much money. It's the projector that's expensive. The screen's less than you would think. Um, Oh, he says, I'll double check. That should be fine. So that should work. Okay, great. Um, and I'll try and lock in, hopefully by the 20th, I'll, I'll make an event calendar for the beach because we got to. Didn't Hasha like give us a good deal? And... Yeah, all, well, all of them, I think, either, you know, at a minimum, just put up with the craziness. Right. Um, and actually, Harsha needs to come back and finish that little strip by when it's warm out. I forgot about that. We got to do that. We got to do signage. Mm -hmm. I have to buy some things for the gate, which I just haven't ordered yet. Now, should this be um, and, advertised and like try to get people there? Like, um, and maybe we give away free quizzes to the first 100 kids or something. You know what I mean? Like, do we want a lot of people there? Do we want to keep it really small? Um, I, I personally like to see a lot of people there, like enjoying it and knowing that the, yeah, just to get a glimpse of it that maybe haven't come in a while. To see that the beach is nice. It's uh, you know, the walls have been rebuilt. There's grass. There's playground equipment. Like I'd like to make it something like attract people there. Yeah. So that they will come back during the summer. I think assuming things go well, we could theoretically, like, do that. Put if if big, we can you know, get some guards, hopefully. make sure we get everything done. I mean, like, there's still a few finishing projects that need to be done, but all the yeah. big stuff's done. Yeah. I we feel. Should, I feel if we get into we believe into enough. July. Let me look at People list. are going to be on vacations and. Um, I just think it's, you know, we'll be out of luck. I know I got some July vacations. I'm sure yeah, you guys yeah. have stuff planned as well. Everyone get busy too. Probably one. Assuming that a couple of them are willing to pick up a shift on a weekend, at least one of the lifeguards is in college. Um, actually, this other girl that we're going to hire might, so we might be, we might just barely make it work. Okay. Um, so I can assume once we set our hires and start that process, we'll know for sure who's available. Sure. Um, 
but it'd be good to do something. I mean, I, I know people would like the beach to open earlier. You know, if we could move towards that direction. I, you know, I think that's kind of the last phase yeah, of this is to clean out all the only so many weeks. We have such a sh know. short summer anyway. The more we could be open, the better. But especially if we have another one of those heat waves. Right. That's, you know, because by the time it hits August, it's a ghost town. And right. Everyone's even if it's nice and it's not warm it's enough. It's really like eight weeks. I mean, I think the attendance at the beach is not great. The revenue is up because we charge more money. It would be nice to drive more traffic down there. Do you think the brothers would be interested in anything with regards to the beach opening or anything like that? You know, like uh, sponsoring yeah, I think, something? I think, in general, I think in general, if, uh, you know, one of us were willing, I'm not saying you should, but will, you know, organize something, that they'll do it. It's uh, it's just who you know somebody to organize it. So which I wouldn't mind doing, but uh, because they probably could. Uh, I'm thinking if we could make kind of a festive uh atmosphere, you know, maybe the yeah, brothers would sponsor something like that. That's exactly what I'm thinking. You know, yeah, something they could do sponsor. like a they could do a fifty fifty raffle that day or something. You know what I mean? Just so, <laughs> yeah. so it's worth yeah. a while. Just anything, just to get the brothers involved and tell them they can do a a, a, a auction off wood. So. Yeah. 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 At the meeting, they at one point they started making you may have brought up that joke again about the um the firewood auction and Eric Weintraub went right over his head. So he starts, oh yeah, well, we could do this and this and this. It was perfect. Could not have like scripted that. Just oh man, it was beautiful. But uh yeah, no, that that might be they were kind of talking about ideas to you know really kind of fundraise for themselves, but they could do it as part of that. And, mm -hmm. You know, a fifth, some sort of raffle type thing. Or even if, let's just say, the snack shack isn't ready. We get a dunk tank. The brothers could come in and sell burgers. Yeah, so if yeah, they want to just bring a grill some, in. You know, make make a couple bucks on it. Uh, beer, I think, I don't know if that's appropriate for that kind of event. But certainly, the uh, we could sell food. Yeah, I think that down there, it's hard because with the town, you got to get the licensing and the insurance. By that point, you're out a thousand bucks. And I think, you, <laughs> I mean, maybe an event of this scale, you'd make your money back, but it'd be tight. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think at a minimum, if we just do, you know, basically a party at the beach, right? Have some music, a dunk tank, I think would be an interesting, yeah, potentially filled with lake water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that, AJ? Maybe talking to them about doing something there or even sponsoring something like one little thing, like the ice cream or, um, yeah, some, something yeah. that day, just, uh, I mean, I don't know if they, we've got the money. I would, I'd, I'd love, don't. you know, I'd love to use that as a vent to sort of like pick up membership, get people there yeah, yeah. at the beach. And uh, is there a way we could also consider, I don't know why I'm, I'm just shooting from the hip now, um, that they can get a membership to the beach. People can buy a membership, which includes night concerts, uh, da daily swimming. Well, we do the beach pass already. Does that, does that get into night concerts? We don't charge for any of the night concerts. Yeah. In the pad. We, we generally when we have events, we stop charging at like five o'clock, six o'clock, okay. and have that all be free because most of those are funded, you know, they're came late sponsors them or something. Okay. Just, so that's just, how we've just done it. Um it's interesting. The season passes don't seem to be that of interest. We sold a few more, and I think a lot of it is somebody just saying, Oh, yeah, I'll buy the pass and right. throw them 50 bucks and yeah. never, you know, you end up having like one family that uses it a ton and lives there. Right. Yeah. And gets their money's worth and then everybody else we make money on them but yeah no i think i think that's a good idea to try and use that to kick off if we right. come up with something almost every week because we want more people going to the beach um, right that's why we did this whole project in the right. first place and this is a good good reason to a way to get them there. Just yeah. come, kick it, come in take a look see what we did um and then come back and I'll, I'll be happy to do whatever it takes to organize this. You know, if, um, I can make some calls. I can get some, uh, again, I just out of the brothers, too. Do you think they would be interested in doing something with that? Yeah, do we want to, um, you know, how we do with the brothers, couple of brothers, um, you know, even my dad with the, the uh, basketball court. But is there anything, is it already dedicated to anybody or anyone or? I mean, that could be a, a big David Lowell deal. You know, it's talking, uh, I don't know if we want to do yeah. that, but everybody calls it the town beach. They don't call it, it used to be called White's Beach. 
now it's the town right. beach, but I mean, we don't even have to go that route, but just like kind of rededicate it to the town. And yeah, um, beach rededication, really, what we, yeah, that'll, even just that'll that bring in like good. get all the dignitaries, bring in like you know, Fat Man or or uh, who, who's the other one, but bringing some of those oh, guys, Brian, too. yeah, yeah, I mean, I can make. Can invite the people at the state that gave us that grant right. fifty something years ago. Um, can't well, I mean, who who provides the CPA money? Who's, who's in charge of that at the state level? Yeah, right. Um, it's a registry. It's like a thing. But we could we can we only can mention it to them or I'll, I'll mention Ann. I don't know yeah. if they, they do that kind of stuff. In the grand scheme of CPA projects, this is pretty minor, to be honest. Not that it's not insignificant, but a few hundred thousand. I mean, they not, do. Oh no, they it's do. It's not insignificant. Millions so. of. Uh, no, I, I get you. I, I get that. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think at least like do an event and get people there it would be good to kind of close the door on this whole. Thing. Close the door, but also open a new one. That's, yeah, yeah. That's my point is like, yeah, we did the project, but well, we just did it. And no one's gonna show up. I want people. Yeah. I want people there. Like, I, I think it's. A great place, uh, unused, a little used resource that we have, and people need to see it. And then I think if they do, they'll show up and they'll, they'll come back. Right. But I think we need something to get them there. That's my point. Like, yeah, free ice cream or this event, bouncy houses, you know, just stuff that they can do while they're right. there. Um, come in, it's, you know, it can cost you anything, do this, that. If you want to buy a burger, you can. Um, I could even talk to the scouts about it, you know, coming in and getting them, bringing them, running a bouncy house or two. Yeah, if we want to go that way. Well, we have, I mean, we have tons of staff if we want to pay a couple people to come in that day and just sure. be on hand. I mean, that stuff's cheap to just, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks to rent and whatever. Right. So right. we can add that to the list. Okay. And do that, yeah. So let's plan on doing that. Let's make sure that's on my list. Um, I mean, and then maybe you know, if we have the staff, we could at least open the beach that following week. Right. We'll see where we're at. But okay. Yeah. Um, and then that gives them time to figure out what they're doing with camp. Right. Yep. Um, but, all right. Is there anything else we need to do? Um, we're programming. We're in good shape. Huh? That, everything for now, yeah. What's Father's Day? The twenty third. Yeah, I think of that. Sixteenth. Oh. To that, yeah. Okay, sixteenth. There it is. Well, I'm going away the 16th. So. Yeah, I mean, the only the date I think it would look and do it early would be the 29th, 30th. If AJ's away the 22nd, 23rd. But but that is the week of the 4th. I think people yeah. go away that week. But it's the week before. So I don't know if you do it that Saturday. And then, true. Like, then you get into this July, August. I mean, I think we've got Cable 8 hasn't answered me yet, but I assume we have those concerts. The library usually does her two concerts. Mm -hmm. um, I assume custom home we will do a movie night. Um, that Blackstone band got a grant to, to play again, and I'd like to try and get them down the beach. I think it's going to be a tight fit, but I feel like they play in the woods for nobody. Um, so yeah, if we can cram them in there, I think it would be worth it. That'd be nice. And then I think if, if we buy this setup, maybe we can do some of our own stuff. I, I, I haven't had time to talk to Tara and see like if you do like a rock band guitar hero type night. I don't know if that would if people would show up for that. Or hmm. Something different, to, different crowd, that's for sure. Get those kids like yeah. the middle, yeah. you know, I don't know what they're looking for. That'd be cool though. Mm -hmm. Or uh, with, you know, Minecraft or Mario Kart or something. Yeah. Huh. That might potentially be of interest. I think that's that's the next phase here is to try and come up with more programming, you know, or potentially, you know, even hire somebody to focus on the programming aspect as the beach director more so than some of the management aspect. Right. Um, yeah, come up with some new ideas for today's crowd. Yeah. 
we're like you know like i mean the, the crafts that we used to do as much as i don't know if we want to fully go down that road again and have a whole have to have a whole classroom of arts and crafts do we have a we ship questions about do we have wi-fi at the beach yes people can access we do that's world bands set that up that's another thing we can like advertise like you know, bring your laptop and work yeah. work from the beach you know yeah I think I'll, well, I'll make sure it's, I think it's on the website. I'll make sure that's more obvious in the social media postings. I actually don't think it is on here. I'll have to add that to our website. That's a good call. I don't think it's in our FAQs. Yeah. I know I had signage up. All right. But. All right. Anything else, guys? I don't think so. Okay. Until I forget something. <laughs> well, nice meeting with you. There's always one more thing. <clears throat> so we'll try to get everyone in for the 20th for the. Yeah, I'm, I'll email them and see if that date works with them. Okay. That would be good because I think we definitely need to talk to them about what what their plans are. You know, I know softball had a ton of ideas and whether they want to pursue that. Um, I'll, we still, I know we talked, maybe we should just do a perk test in that corner and see what's going on. Although it's going to basically dig a big hole and make a mess. Um, I mean, if softball wants to just put in a tight tank for themselves, I think that's up to them. Right. And then I don't know what baseball's got going on. I did send them an email. Somebody, I think there's a lot of fertilizer burns all over the grass. So hopefully that'll green back up in the spring, but. I think they did some fertilizer on the infield. We're maybe a little too aggressive baseball. Baseball. I sent them an email just to ask what was going on. I noticed the other day when I went to change the flag. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we do need some. I mean, and then again, they did make and I actually know what they're gonna say. They're gonna they made they're making a big donation towards this light project. So we maybe need to decide if that's something we'll count towards this facility use thing. Which, yeah. yeah, sounds good. Maybe that works out. So, all right. Okay, guys. Right. Good seeing Ooh. you. Good seeing Take you, care. too. All right. Bye.